Lovers. Hey RNG, how you both doing friends? We good? <clears throat> hey Buff, how you doing friend? Please excuse any um, drinking noises that you may hear over the course of this stream. Um, I'm really thirsty today. Hey, that's a good lunch to this. Oh yeah, I may also eat some shortbread during the stream depending on how hungry I am. Okay, thanks, Buff Grinch. I hope you are too. <clears throat> oh, I guess Porthos has decided he prefers the couch now. That's a pity. But it is sunny outside, so he's probably sunbathing on the couch. <laughs> oh, cool, Buff. Okay. Let's get this party started, shall we? I've had a little potter around to see if I can... Uh... <laughs> the sun's out, bun's out. Yeah, very definitely with Porthos. He's a little sun worshipper. Oh shit, yep, yeah. thank you Tidders. Boop. I always forget something, don't I? Um, yeah, the raffle today is for the game that I'm going to start playing next. Um, it is Daedalic Entertainment's The Night of the Rabbit. It is a point-and-click adventure game. Um, so if you're not a fan of playing point and clicks and prefer to just watch then um well you'll get to see the night of the rabbit next anyway um, stupid, parrot. <laughs> stupid parrot um i think one of the fun things about the next game though is that um the guide i will be using to make sure that i get all the way through the night of the rabbit without any difficulties is one I wrote. Um, hey, Spanky. Spanky's cute. When you get that boat of yours to the other side of the island, give me a shout, and I'll join you for the big rescue. Big rescue. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, now it will be super embarrassing if I get stuck. I mean, it would have been anyway because I've completed it twice. Um, and I remember all the key beats, so you know, this isn't this isn't like the last few games I've played where it's either been I've never completed them before or it's been over a decade since I last played them. Um, this is something that I played. I think the last time I played it was when I updated the guide last, and that was about 2013, 2014, something like that. So it's been considerably less time since I last played this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was the first person to put a guide together for it on Steam. So I'll be using my own guide. Okay, how do we get the fucking cross pipe? Right, am I missing something? Oh, I have the monk. The monk can do this for me. That seems like a sensible plan. I mean, I prefer using the knight purely because, you know, he's got that invulnerability power, but... This is definitely... A, a monk time thing. Because we should, in theory, be able to do this. 
After years on yeah, this blasted I island, <laughs> I can finally leave. Finally leave. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I really like the parrot. It's a little shit. Three hour? <laughs> it's been more than three hours for me. I guess that's the speed run, huh? What is this monkey business? Oh dear. Hey, come to think of it. I'm a monk. I'm up to no good. I'm on an island. I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> Big bad religious boy land last time. Boop. Pretty sure that goes there. Seriously though, how do you get that? Is there a higher platform? No, there's not. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get that. He's leaving his queen exposed. Like, naughty, naughty. Oh shit! There we I go. Know. I'm just a king. Finally grabs it. Right. Um. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Will you save us? I'll give it a punt. Spoilers. <laughs> we know how that one ends. <sighs> Right. Is there anything else up here? No, there is not. That means we have done all of this bit. Slide. I think one of the hardest things about playing this and then having to sort of... Ooh, okay. Well, that was much better than last time. Um, yeah, one, one of the only problems I'm having with there being a seven day gap, six day gap, question mark, between um, Interesting. Uh, between playing this and then coming back to it is that I am forgetting where I've gotten to and having to refresh my memory. <laughs> Yank that flag, boy. I'm just going to leave him there. Like, what is it for? What does it do? Mystery flag. I'm guessing it's something super useful and important, and there's two of them, so... Uh, what does this one do? This one does the same thing. <laughs> Go on, then pull the other one. No, literally. Um... Alright, let's get the twins to do some heavy lifting then. Oof, nearly. Oh, I know what the flags are for. I'm going to not pull them both. Because, um... I know what they're for Stupid now. Parent. Um, and that seems like it's uh, tempting fate a bit too much at the moment. Ah... If they do what I think they do, then they do something fun, but something that we don't necessarily want them to do just yet. Can't 
can't turn that anymore. Can I drag the boat? Yeah! Hey, Kian, how you doing, friend? Ah, okay. We need to do this first. And now, Chiddlers, where was that flag? It was there. And, okay, so they don't do a fun, but they do a useful, apparently. Okay, I've got to find the third flag. Is it over here? No. It won't be there. Hello, Aif. How you doing, friend? Okay then. So it does do a fun. Okay, so. Yes, that kind of fun. should be enough heavy explosives, right? Probably. Now we just need a little bit of ignition. Oh, actually an image to go with this. Where's the image? Oh, they haven't actually put the image in. Helpful. Okay. So... Put by the ladder. Oh, okay. Put it all the way over here. as far as it will let me take it. Fair enough.
that's what it starts firing to. <laughs> when it comes to explosives, always ask yourself, is this enough? Then say, no, no it isn't, and add more. Yeah, that's reasonable. That is very reasonable. Um, so right, the wooden grate that's on the ground. Okay, they're talking about different rocks, obviously. Ah, right, okay. That goes near the ladder. That goes here. And this goes here. That should do it. Hey, Nurgling, how you doing, friend? Ah, I see what we're up to here. What could possibly go wrong and blow me up? Oh shit. Yeah! <laughs> this is fine. Okay. The kids are closest. So we use them. Thank you, Parrot. Is this gonna hurt? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse. I don't think the parrot has a name, unfortunately. Right. Mm. <laughs> Shit. looked over at chat and murdered the monk in the process. Yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better as well, Tidders. Oh, bollocks. Uh, well, that did not work as uh, intended. Can I use this? Ooh! Supplies! Uh, fucking mood, my friend. There we go. Oh, yes, you enjoy your cup, eh? I'm finally getting off this island. <laughs> I think I've got everything I need. Shut up. I knew he was going to be trouble. Right here in Island City. Trouble with a capital T, which rhymes with P, which stands for... Hermit. Uh, hmm. Okay, that didn't quite work. But he's still trouble. 
trouble with a capital H, which stands for Hermit. <laughs> there, much better. <laughs> Um, so I guess we just abandoned the kids, yeah? <laughs> yeah, the, the cave is cool. The, the, the cave is hip with the kids and such. We should leave now if we want to make it before high tide. <laughs> um, that wasn't... We should probably shove off. The tide is going out, and I've oh. got all my beloved possessions. Um, I'm just gonna kill the children because I I uh, got them trapped. <laughs> okay. Oh, fair enough. Well, the kids have plenty of experience with this particular activity, so let's go and do it. Uh, if we can. This way. <laughs> What's a Sunday without some good old child aside? What's the proper word for that? Because they're, they're too old to be. No, for it to be infanticide, aren't they? Is it just child aside? It's a really weird word. Yeah, just murder. We'll we'll just go with murder. Time to cast off. I've okay. got everything I need, I think. Who's he going to play chess with back in civilization? The dog always let him win. Filicide. Hmm. That sounds more like a an actual thing. Uh, Have I got everything I need? I think so. Okay. Yep, fair enough. Thank you, Titters, and thank you, Google. I know there's um, fratricide. That's uh, sibling murder, isn't it? Oop. Pedicide. That's a new one. I've not heard that one before. Okay. Okay. Who did I give the crackers to? Yeah, agreed, Titters. Too bad this boat only has three seats. One of you will have to stay behind. <laughs> you want those kids? I'm getting back in the boat. Side. Neat. So many words. Box of damp crackers. Okay, so. Over here, there should be Burbo. Here, Burbo. Polly wants a cracker. Here you go, Polly. We made a friend. 
Because what's better for a pair of evil twins than a really annoying parrot? Think of all the shit they can stir now. <laughs> Considering what happened to the dog that barked. Yeah, fair point. Well made. And now we have a barking parrot. That couldn't possibly get annoying. Oh shit. I upset the parrot. Now I've got to do it again. Right. Is he over here? Has he gone back to his corner? He has. Right. Let's try that again with less getting the parrot wet. Oh! Okay. Well, that works. Probably should have done this with the knight. It would have been less damp. Hmm. Nope. I wet the parrot again. I cannot go that way. I can't go up curse that will result in death. I don't know, Tidders. Maybe the cave isn't very good at animals. Okay. I'm beginning to feel this parrot's just trying to get more biscuits out of me. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay. I have to go that way. I have to carefully drop off of the platform without dying. This ain't gonna work, is it? How does one carefully drop off of a platform? Oh, oh, I did it. Parrot won't pick it. Yep. Just carefully throwing myself into the abyss. Now to make an old, lonely man extremely sad. I forgot my dog. You wait here and I'll be back in a flash. Don't be without us. Spanky gets his own seat, so someone will need to swim. Bollocks. And now to kill the children again. Ah, oh, bollocks. I forgot to put Discord in streamer mode. There we go. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. And really, the stranding of a lone hermit pales in comparison to what we've seen from these three so far. <laughs> I do wonder if any lessons have been learned this evening. Maybe by you and me, but I fear not by them. Well, we shall see soon enough. Um, yeah, but I had to turn it off um, the other day because someone was trying to call me and couldn't get through. <laughs> oh, hey, Mum Squig. Six month subscription. Awesome. Splish. Okay, I, I don't want to play as the children anymore. Let's go back to being the knight. Well, you took long enough. I was going to send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. 
You didn't happen to run into an annoying clown, did you? Now yeah, about that. We just got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. But I can't give them to you without suitable replacements. So, take this giant novelty size key again and open the employee Uh we found a dead clown. I'm sure you'll find some in the uh, worthy of the cave's gift shop. Yeah, we 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 found a, a dead clown in the cave. Hey Hans, how you doing, friend? We close at 5, so uh you might want to get a move on it. How can you pass up these amazingly desirable trinkets? I'm trying Just to bring me a suitable there we go. replacement. And they're yours. I guess a can of corn is not a suitable replacement in his eyes, otherwise he would have taken it off me. She's just completely unacceptable. What's wrong with a can of corn? Hey Tofa, how you doing, friend? And that's okay, thank you for stopping in. It is appreciated. Okay, so time for new trinkets. Could be a can of baked beans, which is so much better. Agreed. Like wholeheartedly agreed there, for the record. Yep. Is it me, or does everything look a little bit grimmer than it did last time we were here? <laughs> Maybe it is. Um, Mum Squig, I think you unlocked some um, emotes for people when this uh, when your sub announcement popped up. Yeah, it does look a little bit on fire, doesn't it? I'm sure we have nothing to do with that. It's still good. Oh! The spike pit's, um... No longer a spike pit. Yep, that's on fire! Oh, they're so cute, Titters. I'm a little jealous. Um. We couldn't have been, like, responsible for this, could we? Could we? Oh! Yoink! No more explosives either. How disappointing. I mean, the lava's a nice touch. Zetheo, you've watched the rest of this playthrough, right? <laughs> it's kind of this lot's MO to be fucking monsters. They are horrible, horrible people. Especially the children. Oh no, we're not. We're stealing the fucking dog. <laughs> yes! Oh. That is fabulous. Um. Actually, let's... Uh... I mean, to be fair, if I was somebody in the cave, my most treasured um, thing would probably also be my dog, so <laughs> welcome to the party, Porthos too. Oh, look at his little face. It's so warped and horrific. And yet so lovable. Right. Can you pet this dog? Well, we're carrying it. Does that count? He 
He hasn't even noticed that we've pinched his uh, gold. Okie doke, titters. Just call the elevator. Or the lift, if you prefer. Up we go. You know what? I like the kids more now they've got the dog. Spanky is a very well behaved dog. Like he's he's thoroughly enjoying being carried up the ladders and stuff. He's a good boy. Look how happy he is. He just enjoys being involved. And unlike the bloody parrot, doesn't panic when he gets damp. Splendid! That will look nice on the shelf. Taking the thing someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. Here you go. Bye, Spanky. Oh, I I can't actually switch to the others now. I gotta I gotta do this first. Oh, Spanky's fine. I'm sure he'll get fed and stuff. And I will apply the scritches to Porthos when he comes back upstairs. He's currently sunbathing. Okay. Family dines together. Dies together. Spoilers. <laughs> I'm sure he won't get gold plated along with the rest of the trophies. Ah, I'd be fine. That is very nice. Hey, it's not stealing if they didn't see you take it. Am I right? Exactly. There you go. I'm just going to ignore the fact that his sword is behind the ladder. Now that I've said that, you aren't. <laughs> In over his head. Death of a kingdom. Including him. You may be starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> Pretty sure a gold nugget of that size could buy you all of the gift shop. Splendid. That will look nice on the shelf. After all, possession is nine tenths of the law. That other one tenth. Pff. Enjoy. Off we go. And I'm definitely going to be playing Night of the Rabbit because it's only fucking 20 to 1. Bloody hell, that's gone quick. <laughs> At least this thing's in front of the ladder, yeah. Rage boils over. Oh dear. The Dark Master. Well, you might think of this evening as a failure, but it was not. True, our friends did not learn the lessons they were meant to. They are destined to choose a path that can lead only to misery and disappointment. Not to mention a few lawsuits and possibly an embarrassing reality TV show. But I know you will leave here tonight with a new perspective on the choices to come. Someday, you yourself shall explore my mysterious depths. And when we meet again on that journey, I am confident you will make the right decisions. Because I am the cave. Right, 
And that is my first run through of the cave. I will probably do more run throughs in future so we can like finish the whole game. Um, if folks want, of course. I've had quite a lot of fun. I mean, hell, if I'm still streaming in 12 months time, we can do the cave again next October. <laughs> Um, I'm going to let the credits run because um, I think it's important to recognise the people behind a game like this because it's a fucking good game um, and then I'll do a little BRB check on Porthos um, and set up for the Night of the Rabbit and then we'll play the Night of the Rabbit for the rest of the stream so what did folks think? I'm glad to hear that, Titters. And yeah, Buff, um, Double Fine have a, a bit of a habit of sort of throwing themselves into their projects, which is one of the things I really love about them as a, a developer. Um, like if it's got Ron Gilbert or Tim Schafer attached to it, you can almost guarantee it's going to be a really bloody good game because um, they they have zero chill yes it is agreed i mean look at psychonauts as a prime example text being all floaty did not do it for me fair enough I really like the sound design in this as well. I don't know who did the soundtrack off the top of my head. Um, oh yeah, it was um, done in conjunction with Sega as well. It's technically a Sega game. Um, Don't worry about it, Hans, it's fine. Yeah, I I'm I'm really, really hyped for Psychonauts too. Um I kinda wish that I could actually play VR games, because then I'd get um the Rhombus of Ruin. I'm actually really pissed off that the new Sam and Max game is a VR exclusive as well, but I can't do VR. It makes me motion sick. <sighs> Which really sucks. So if anybody... Um... Oh, titters. Big hugs, friend. If anybody playing... Uh, if anybody watching this stream has a VR headset and is willing to um, play the new Sam and Max VR game when it comes out and like stream it so I can watch it, I will buy the fucking game for you. I really want to watch it, seeing as I can't play it myself. Um, and yeah, I, w I would happily pay for somebody else to play it so I can live vicariously through them. Yeah, hands agreed. Um, and also, for people like me, it means you can't play them at all because it's a choice between playing the very expensive game with the very expensive peripheral and throwing up or not. <laughs> Aw, titters. 
I do not have the money for a VR headset, otherwise I would totally fucking do that. Oh yeah, I guess this has a, a reasonably um, big following in Japan as well. Um, one of my playthroughs, uh, one of my VODs got a copyright strike against it for using the cave music or possibly voice acting, but the um, copyright owner was in Japanese. So that was interesting. Right. I'm gonna just pop myself into BRB. If anybody wants to like take a bio break, hydrate, that kind of thing, now is a good time to do that. I'm gonna set up with um, Night of the Rabbit and I'll be back with you as soon as I can.
And I am back. Nice. That is grand buff. Also, thank you for the treat for Porthos. Okay. The only thing I forgot to do was reopen my guide. Right. There we go. Right, I think everything's sorted. And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. If only I had been there. Yeah, th this game is just gorgeous buff. That's why it's one of my favourites. Behold! There is plot. Oh, who are you? Can you not speak? Hmm, does that mean you don't know? Are you lost? for the beginning of your story. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. You aren't. I don't know how clear it's coming right. through on the stream, but he is nodding and shaking his head feels like in response. Uh, hey, RNG, yeah, we uh, Follow me. beat it a couple of minutes ago. So now we're playing the Night of the Rabbit. There Got a little too close to him then. Now. Not obeying social distancing. Even if you lose Bad bunny. Yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand. Well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. <laughs> it is indeed the raffle game RNG. I figured now was the perfect time to raffle off a copy of it. <laughs> Did you hear something? The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. <sighs> it's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. You look familiar somehow. I'm sure we shall meet again, unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Oh. Shoot, I killed the sound by accident. Sorry. 
strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down. Right <laughs> I like him, he's cool. After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, one day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. Hey, Hulu. How you doing, friend? And also, hello, Destroyer. Um, I was without chat briefly due to Jerry! my own technical fuckery. Um, so I didn't see you pop in. Uh, I hope you're doing okay, yeah. friend. What do you want, Mum? <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! A am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine! You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow! You don't have to worry about your things until then! I still have two days before school starts! I've still two whole days of adventure left. Hooray! <laughs> like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. What on earth is this? <laughs> Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. I really like the voice acting in this game as well. But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. <laughs> hey, look at that! Wow. A small X when floating in the air. Like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want to drop out? What? Think you already know everything? Yeah, smart Alex. Okay, Touch I know how to play this game. Imagine a mouse pointer. Yeah, I, I I know how to play this game, but we're gonna play the tutorial because I think you folks should enjoy it. Cause it's fucking awesome. Like, what better way to get a tutorial into a fucking point and click game? Cause I think you may have noticed, um, most of the point and clicks that I've played so far haven't actually had tutorials. They've just sort of shoved you in at the deep end without your water wings on and gone, go on then. Figure it out. It's a point and click game. What do you have to do? Good job. Well done. <laughs> Child's play. You can tackle anything just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. Just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. Yeah, yeah. Da -da. Is this a sales presentation or what? Now, let's try it again. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing where the voice comes from. Talk to the radio? <laughs> Once again, just click on it. 
Uh, again, I don't know how clearly this is coming through on stream, but the icon inside the little leaf pointer is changing depending on what action you can take. Uh, um, let's go with that I'd one. Like to say hi to my mother. Young Mr. Hazelnut would like to say hi to his mother. You did very well. Thanks. But how? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is just one click. Did you notice how your muscles and <laughs> yeah, me too, RNG. Doesn't that feel good? He's right. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. I mean, my radio is an Echo Dot, so, you know, she sasses me more often than not anyway. You can. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. Titters, stop trying to make me feel old. So, keep looking at things and picking them up. Now find yourself an object to look at. How about that basket on the windowsill? You already found something to pick up? Go ahead then. That's my basket the now. That's good for the back. You are now <laughs> carrying the basket. You open the inventory by scrolling down with the mouse wheel. Or by pressing the I key. Man, oh man. Now, let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. Doesn't that feel good? Your inventory. <laughs> you can carry a lot more around in here than you think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also look at them. To do that... Click on them with the right mouse button. Ah, nice basket. Hey, looking with the right mouse button works really well. Looking with the right mouse button works really well, doesn't it? Absolutely. And now we'll try the left mouse button. Use the left mouse button to take items out of your inventory. Left click on the basket. Oops. What? The handle fell off. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't supposed to happen. I broke Ooh, it. Just pick the basket back up. But don't panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. <laughs> use the oh. to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Steady now, destroyer. Use one of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. There. That wasn't so hard. True. It was easy. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? Feels good. <laughs> I know, Hulu. This is all very, um... Now for the, next. the secret you police are watching, isn't it? Oh, thank you for the treat, RNG. Click on the basket, and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge. Or good boy. by pressing the I key. Or scroll up with the mouse wheel. Now, now, folks, let's not have any scraps in my chat. Nom, yep. That's not what we were going to do now. Hope you didn't pull a muscle. Just <laughs> open your inventory again. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge. Sorry, ominous radio voice. We Hope you didn't pull a muscle. That's Just open your inventory again. I just Left did what you told me to do. And then carry it out of your ore by pressing the I key. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Very good. There we go. By showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. <laughs> My mother, for Can example. I, I think your mother is hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. Man, he's good. Wow. It's as if he's talking. Yeah, this kid is far too trusting for the record. By moving the basket to her. It said beloved. <laughs> Jerry, as you've got the basket. Yeah, and I didn't break it at all. Definitely not. That's fantastic. Could you go and pick some blackberry <laughs> for me? For blackberry pie. Of course. Oh boy. Pick blackberries, check. This kid Congratulations. You is living his best fucking life. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life. <laughs> Assume the party going world. position. Huh? What's he talking about? <laughs> stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? Huh. Never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. Mm hmm. 
Okay, I am going to quickly do something so we're going to lose sound for a second. Okay, it is working. Hmm. Very strange. Have we seen any um, messages from TechSquig today? Oh, he's only a kid. That's really weird. So TechSquig is supposed to be on, but is not working. Hmm. Ruh -ruh. Oh, fucking hell. Okie dokie. I know why Tech Squigs died. Okie doke, Destroyer. I'm going to put us back into Be Right Back for a second because I'm going to have to fuck about with some stuff. Um, as much as the raffle has started, it looks like the raffle is not continuing at the moment because um, Twitch has deauthorized Tech Squig. So, uh, I'll be right back.
Sorry about that, folks. So, anybody that entered the raffle earlier today... Um... We'll need to re-enter it because uh, Twitch apparently deauthorized uh, TechSquig halfway through the stream and killed everything that had ha happened prior to that. Yippee! And I still forgot to put Discord into fucking streamer mode. So we're going to lose sound again for a second. <sighs> Lissai. <sighs> right. No. Don't be wandering off, Jerry. <laughs> it's not a real stream without technical difficulties. It's definitely not a hobby squig stream without technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, really? Uh... Yeah, um... I guess I need to adjust the reminder to reauthorize all my accounts and stuff. Um, because I have to reauthorize them every 30 days. <laughs> All this shit happens. But I hadn't had the reminder yet, so... Feck. Anyway, where were we? Why am I fucking cursed? I mean, it's great that you don't have to, Tiz, but why am I fucking cursed? I guess Twitch doesn't like me. I mean, fair. Okay, let's let's look at some things. Let's use the skills we learnt in that not at all suspicious tutorial. Mum says it's been living here since long before we came. Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. <laughs> not enough wire energy. Maybe. Hey, Mum, I won't need them all. What? <laughs> Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. All right, yeah, Mum. School. Huh. I'll take one for What's later. What's up, Bobby? That's supposed to be good for your eyes. And an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Just going to pick up a carrot. Hmm. Strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was a mysterious, long-extinct mammal. The Gremlin Horn. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. Wanna come up for so us? much expertise for just 50 cents a month. <laughs> there are some things in this that really throw me. Like the fact that they all have, you know, relatively inoffensive, air quotes, English accents. Um, but they pay for things in cents. And the subtitles say mom instead of mum. Come up. Come on then. Hang on a sec, folks. Go on then. Come on. Look, if you want to come up, come up. There we go. There we go. Oh, you bugger. That's better. Studio English, yeah, that, that sums it up nicely, actually. And yes, Tidders, that is correct. The whole good for your eyes thing is bullshit. I mean, they're good for you in other ways. Uh, carrots have a lot of vitamin C in, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Porthos is very definitely pro-gamer streamer. Oh, you wanted a big scritch, didn't you? There we go. Yeah. Oh, that good. That good. I am not playing the game right now. It's a good job the music's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Does that mean you don't enjoy it when I stream Hulu? Only when the dog streams. <laughs> You wound me. <laughs> Okie doke, Tidders. Uh. 
I know, it was terrible of me, Sophia, and I feel really bad, and I won't do it again. Can I... I know, Hulu. No I was playing. And also, no sign of the gremlin wolf, <laughs> as usual. Host is clear. You know what? Stash. Jerry's kind of a tinfoil hat oh, kid. I to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a... Lesser magician. It's like a level three laser lotus. Gremlin Wolf is a really good band name. What do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Let the adventure begin. Oh, ah, better not leave it open. Never know. Don't want the Gremlin Wolf to come. There we go. Sense. This is just how us Germans imagine you British people. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Daedalic of actually based in... Um, it's, it's I think it's either Germany or the Netherlands. I'm really bad at geography. I failed geography. Um, so please cut me some sl uh, slack on that one. But... Yeah, okay. But yeah, so, um, very possible, Hulu. This is just how English people appear. Yeah, cool. Um, th thank you for uh, clarifying there, folks. It is appreciated. That's better, you've got a better view of the dog now. Right. Dry as a bone. Hasn't rained for weeks. What a summer. Hmm, where is it? Somewhere around here, I know it is. Okay, so there are collectibles in this game. And the first one is on the bike. Can I not get it yet? Or am I just not clicking enough? Like, the only thing in here that is um, pixel hunty is the collectibles, which I kind of like. Um... If you're gonna have pixel hunting in a in a fucking point and click game, especially a more modern one, make it something that isn't actually necessary for the progression of the game. I think that's something that Daedalic do really, really well in their point and clicks. Which, for the record, are all this fucking gorgeous. Um eh. No, I don't seem to be able to find it. Maybe I can't get it. Ah, there we fucking go. A sticker. Ha ha. Oh, look at it. Porthos is looking at it too. Do you like the sticker, Porthos? Kitty in a Godzilla costume. Yes. It was worth the faffing. Dino cat. Yes. Yeah, the stickers are fucking awesome. I am going to try and get every single sticker. Um... And every single dewdrop, which we will see later. Consider this the scritches being applied to the Porthos RNG. Thank you very much. We'll give him an undercollar scritch. Because he likes them. Don't you, buddy? Yeah, you do. The uh, What was that well-camoed secret stash on the right? That is where Jerry hides his stuff from the Gremlin Wolf. And people that uh, might want to steal his uh, magical tools. He's a bit of a tinfoil hat kid. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Are you trying to get comfy, mate? Oh, 
Oh, let's have some red currants. There we go. It's nice to have Tex Gwig back, isn't it? Mmm. Just eating all the fruit. Well, yeah, they're red currants, you prat. Must be the bright red colour. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's not the brightest kid. Okay, do we need anything else? No, we don't. Let's go into the woods. Totally safe. Oh no, I think I'm going to sneeze. If I disappear suddenly, you know why. <laughs> okay, it says cola can, but I don't know if folks can read that on stream. That's a can of Dr. Pepper. Who dumps their trash here in the woods? Oh, unbelievable. Dr. Pepco. Yep. Legally distinct. Better than Dr. Pete. Could be, um... What's another word for a doctor? Is Dr. Pepper a cola? Technically, Dr. Pepper is a cola beverage. But, um... Practitioner. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, um... General practitioner, caffeinated beverage. Funnily enough, Hans, that's exactly how I imagine Texquig. And one day I might get art commissioned of Texquig. Just cuss it, it'd be fun. But yeah, like a, a, a little mechanical, um, little mechanical squig. Like Ray Harryhausen style. That's how I've always pictured the Texquig. Right, where were we? I can't count the times I've got a splinter trying to frighten it. Honestly, I wish bits of England were more like this. Because there's not really anything like this left now. So if this is supposed to be what the Germans think England and English people are like... Like... like <laughs> they, they have a, a much better opinion of us than... Um, than uh, we we deserve by the looks says me well yeah there's still some more rural areas obviously but rock under the tree looks like a cat oh this one is a statue let's go look at Mom it says people put up these little animal statues a long time ago to bring luck to hikers I think there were more of them years ago. You made yourself comfortable. <laughs> Mum says there used to be important trails to far away places here, long before there were cars. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old park Let me get down now. Go on then. Go on. It says no, I think I'll stay here actually. You're as indecisive as I am, Doc. There you go. Do you want a bit more room? Is that the problem? You got enough room now? Oops, sorry, punching the microphone. There we go. 
<laughs> Where do I think he gets? Yeah, fair point. Well made. Jeez. Calling me out like that, damn. Um... looking at buddy mm -hmm. nothing over there for you <laughs> gotta show the microphone who's boss yeah exactly um. the owl's wall it goes all the way to the big tree in the woods. Yeah, hands. I like that as well. Like, oh, 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 Porthos, no, sweet pea. He's he's leaning on me, um, which would be fine were it not for the fact that I've already moved out of the chair for him. So he's now a actively pushing me out of the chair. You're lucky you're fucking cute. Consider the hug delivered, mum squig. Take over the channel. Gee, thanks. I feel so loved. <sighs> hmm. Is it getting a little dark in here? This Porthos stream now. It's, every stream is a fucking Porthos stream. Excuse me a moment, folks. I'm going to use my wizard powers to turn the light on. Baba. And I'm gonna eat on stream for the first time ever. <laughs> that is if Porthos doesn't get to it first. Sorry, I'm super fucking hungry. <laughs> what I stop it? Ow. Please excuse the crunching. Um, no I haven't, Hands. That sounds... interesting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for the scratches, Tedders. Needy. I wonder why. Little snack too is a treat. Yeah. Let's give him a give him a little treat. There we go. Yeah, I'll take a look at it hand. And yes, Buff Grinch, it was a packet of um the Cadbury snack shortbreads. Yeah, this is more like England. This is like the only reference you really get to what it's actually like living in England. Just like beautiful, lush, green area being encroached upon by a fucking ugly city. Where tradition meets tomorrow. so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you could see. No, but seriously, since they built the supermarket next to the school, it looks even worse down there. School. <laughs> Only two days of summer vacation left. Then I'll be stuck down there in a classroom again. Now that's an even worse thought. Uh, although, that means there's still huh. two days of That sounds pretty left. cool, Hans. <laughs> Uh, 
No, it really didn't, did us. And he's, uh... It looks so... <laughs> you are a shit and a lie, child. He's an anachronism, that's for sure. Blackberries back there, but this brambly bush is in the way. That prickly bush thinks it can keep me away from the juicy blackberries back there. Someone should teach it a lesson. <coughs> Ow! Ah, you win this round, brambly bush. <laughs> Twelve year old child as ripped by a thirty five year old. Yeah, pretty much. Thumb. There we go. Right. <clears throat> now that the silly boy has stabbed himself with a bush, let us away into the woods. It's so quiet here. Like your town is miles away. Yeah, this is this is really fucking nice. Right, this is the kind of place when I was younger. I would go and sit. I mean... The place I used to go and sit had like a... You wouldn't call it a pond. Don't know what you would call it, to be honest with you. I think it was like a drainage ditch or something. Um, it even has a stagnant pond. This is a proper English wood. Uh, it, it wasn't deep enough to be a stream. Un unless you mean, um, the stream has died. This is exactly how we Germans imagine England. Oh, I wish it looked like this. I really do. I really fucking do. Like, this is gorgeous. I always used to sit on this rock. Huh, because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. Of course you are. You definitely don't do that when nobody's looking. Um, a brook, maybe? I suppose you could call it a brook at a push. It was a very, very shallow little bit of... Uh... <laughs> no, because he's 30 fucking five. <laughs> this child is a time traveller. I mean, you got a bit of my keyboard in then, didn't you? No, no, that's all right. Welcome back, Destroyer. Yeah, so would I. Like, and I'm nearly fucking thirty. I'm nearly thirty. Well, there's an existential crisis I didn't expect to have today. I'll take that. Okie doke, Hulu. My book says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Hmm. I'd rather not meet any. I've got to admit, that is probably the most accurate, um, Fae Facts 101 ever. Oh, piss off, titters. <laughs> Being 30 isn't bad at all. Ooh, eggs, sausages, and hash browns. That sounds fucking lush. Yeah, don't fuck with the fairies. Like, fae politics is really interesting shit. I'll be doing a podcast episode on it at some point, but I've got to figure out which bit I want to do it on, because otherwise it'll be like a 16-hour long podcast, and nobody fucking needs that. But yeah, fae politics, really interesting shit. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? Less than a month till I turn 28. I don't feel ready for this realisation. Oh, bless your hands. Big hugs. That's kind of cool, Buff. Like, I probably shouldn't have picked this up. Heavy rock. That's, that's a good idea. 
<laughs> Turned 31 in August and I'm still in shock. Oh, hugs for RNG as well then. This stone would make a good picnic table, but unfortunately the pond smells so fishy in the summer that you can't eat anywhere near it. Mm. Even a pint of blackberry pie. Yeah, that that's what the 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 brook near um my old house was like. <laughs> Stand on one end of the plank, lob the rock at the other end, attain flight. Are you just trying to jettison the player character, Tidders? Really well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take one. My chalk now. You never know. I've got to admit, he is my least favourite part of this game, which I know isn't necessarily a ringing endorsement because, you know, you're stuck with him for the entire damn game. But, um... In two years, I will be twice your age at ne oh shit mum squig no that means i've got to think of a good birthday present for then i've got two years to figure out what to get you for the record it's really difficult to get stuff for mum squig because she gets stuff for herself and also doesn't necessarily want to own things I'm sure I can think of a... Ooh, actually, no, I've had an idea. I mean, you know, the world not being on fire dependent, but mm, that might work. Mm -hmm. Plotting. Okay. So I've got chalk. Can I examine it rather than... No, that's a that's a ringing no. I already looked at the strangely shaped rock. I Didn't look at the tree. Be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. Oh yeah, definitely buff. Mum squig loves Porthos. I think if I ever got a proper portrait of Porthos commissioned, I'd do something really silly. Like, have someone paint him like an oil painting style with one of those big ruffled collars on. Like proper Tudor clothing or something like that. And a silly hat. Because, <laughs> uh... Top hat and a monocle. Yeah, or a top hat and a monocle and a tweed jacket. I mean, his fur coat is basically a tweed jacket already. Oh, Mum Squig. Well, hopefully we'll be able to do that. Like, not being able to have a party for your birthday this year. A little party, obviously. Fucking sucked. Pipe in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, Kian, definitely. Um, right. What else do I need to do? The oh, there's more of the wall. It runs between the trees. Oh, hands. Yeah, I can appreciate that, friend. I mean, I, I, I'm very lucky that um, there isn't a great deal of familial pressure on me. Because Mum Squig fucking rocks. Um, and... Uh, Well, the the only pressure I get is from Granny Squig, and I generally just ignore her when she goes on that tirade. Yes, it is. Um, that was what started the conversation about um, Fay folk. Is there anything else I need in here? There's not. Let's fuck off. I mean, the music's nice, and the scenery's pretty. Oh yes, I, I I could go for that, Mum Squig, little Sherlock Holmes outfit. Though I think he's more of a Doctor Dogson, don't you? <laughs> of course you can, Buff. Be a while before I can afford to uh, to get one done, but by all means. 
<sighs> Thank you, Tidders. Um, Porthos, what the fuck are you doing, mate? Uh, you folks can't see this. Let me see if I can... He's he stood up. And he's... He's literally just moving his ass to try and push me out of the chair. <laughs> Porthos, what are you doing, buddy? No, don't... Oh. Look, look at how much space he's taking up on this bloody chair. <sighs> Excuse me, I need to move my microphone. Never work with children or animals. Like, he's just staring at Slow's bookshelf. He's manoeuvred himself so that he can look at the books. Oh, this is uncomfortable. I am right on the edge of my fucking seat, and not because I'm very excited about the game. You're lucky I love you, dog. Mmm or animalistic children or childish animals. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's 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 do some gameplay. No, don't lay down. Oh, you little fucker. You little asshole. choice. Ah! Oh, destroy that would be lovely. No can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. Okay, I've got to admit, at that particular point in the game, Jerry is a kid after my own heart, because you put a fresh blackberry crumble with some um, custard in front of me, and I will fucking obliterate it. <clears throat> Don't really feel like you deserve scritches right now, but you've asked. So... Burn this bitch down. Just set fire to the entire woods. Crumble is the tits, definitely, yeah. I much prefer crumble to pie. Um... Though, like a meat pie, oh yeah. They look like they can't wait. <laughs> Titus, get out of my brain. <laughs> Seriously, it's not safe in here. I have had a savoury crumble before and it was... Okay. Yes, it, it's warm and squishy in there, but... There's a lot of emotional baggage and there's a... There's some sort of rampaging beast in there that you really don't want to get on the wrong side of. Imagine a meat crumble. I mean, when you say it like that, it just sounds gross. Oh, hands, yes. Blueberry crumble's fucking gorgeous. Cobbler comes in savoury varieties? I've only ever encountered peach cobbler. <laughs> oh my, Aif. Oh dear. And yeah, a little bit titters. How are you still not comfy? You have taken nearly the whole chair. <sighs> Fucking dog. <sighs> right, I've got I've got like ten minutes. Um, twelve minutes before the end of my stream and the beginning of I've never had lamb cobbler I've never heard of lamb cobbler obviously I know what it is but 
definitely a bunch of meaty cobblers. Do you wanna do you wanna rephrase that, Ave? <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks, Destroyer. Um... <laughs> yeah, phrasing. Are we still doing phrasing? Let's have a look. Ooh! Oh, that's adorable, Destroyer! That's really good! Oh, if you did something like that, I'd have to pay you. The, there is no way in hell I wouldn't pay you for something like that. Bloody hell. Sausage and bean cobbler is the best. I mean, it sounds nice. Anyway. <clears throat> We have a boop stick. And you know what you can do with a boop stick? Ha, I can do this you can sleep. boop things. Whack! Look how many I got. Yeah, but I am Not destroyer. <sighs> Look, a Mum Squig knows where I live, and she's not. Uh, and I'm not too old for her to clip me around the ear. <laughs> and you didn't get shit for it. I just. never heard of savoury cobblers. In spite of the fact that my own mother has. It's just not something I've ever had before. Destroyer, go ahead. <laughs> oh, titters, you cheeky bugger. Okay, what else have I got left to do? Got the rose hips. Oh, cobwebs. <laughs> Cobwebs. Yeah, isn't it fab? Like, if somebody did a piece of art like that for you, you'd pay them, wouldn't you? <laughs> Thanks, Ave. And now... I have a cobwebby. Uh, I have a cobwebby stick. And some blackberries. More tasty looking blackberries. We'll just take them as well. Why not? That is true, Tidders. And I am not going to deny that. But, uh... I really like this statue. It speaks to me. On a, I'm really hungry level. <laughs> Cobwebby stick? Sky's the limit. I know, right? Oh, shit. Um, I hope the, the GPS issue is resolved, Hulu. And welcome back. Now I've got a whole basket full of raspberry blackberries. Mmm, this should earn me the first and biggest piece of blackberry pie. Mom, yes, I got the blackberries for you. I really want to know whether the raspberry blackberry the thing there pie. was Yay. a recording fuck up that they decided to keep in. Ah, uh, fair enough, that? Hulu. I mean that sucks, but. Only the first mm. Nah. And so the hazelnut family narrowly escaped a diplomatic incident. <laughs> this kid is such a shit. Huh? Hey, look, plot. 
Also, I'm pretty sure that was just a person making washing noises, which is fucking awesome. I want to strangle this child. Something's I mean, fair, Tidders. I think he gets better. Oh, okay. Be brave. As long as it's not a gremlin wolf, there's nothing to be afraid of. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon. Very careful. I mean, to be fair, I'm mostly in this for the rabbit that you saw at the beginning. What was that? The letter just flew into my pocket. That's kind of cool, Hulu. Yeah, raccoons are the best. You leave trash pandas alone, Jerry. <laughs> it's a very strange looking raccoon. Let's have a look. A Little Lemmy. triangular letter? And there's no return address. Let's go <gasps> Ominous. I know an omen when I see one. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit. And lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring. Thus gain. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. Oh, that's fab, eh? I really like raccoons and red pandas. I have complex opinions on otters, which I won't go into on stream because it upsets people. Um, if you want to know, look up male sea otters uh, and content warning. They're not nice. <laughs> I mean, otters are really fucking cute, but what I know about them now just makes me go, eh. yeah. It's it's the baby seals that are the problem for me, Titters. <laughs> yeah, river otters are okay. They're all right. Uh... Okay, so we have basically completed what constitutes the actual tutorial because um, the radio tutorial was a thing definitely but um... uh, I have to go inside my school stuff is yeah titters really I fucked up <laughs> oh gosh I hope everything's okay Hulu <laughs> oh okay that's kind of cute Ave. Yeah, so I've got three minutes left before we're supposed to raid Titters. You didn't forget, did you, Titters? Um, yeah, Mum Squig, but this isn't a food thing. Um, seriously, I don't, I don't really want to talk about it on stream because it will upset people. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, just Google it yourselves, please. Oh, that's really cool, Titters. Okay, and uh, I take it you're all set up then, so I can just raid you when you're ready. <gasps> Washing bear! Oh my god, that's adorable! <clears throat> um, I'm calm. I'm calm. Okie doke, Titus. Well, what I will do then is we'll start on part two 
making a carrot flame um, next week. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do my ending spiel. Yeah, so can I, Aeth. It's a really cute one. Rut row. Is it an edible present, Mum Squig? Or like a a non edible present? Yeah. I have very mixed feelings about the video of people giving raccoons candy floss. Because it's really cute, but also it makes me sad. Because <laughs> why would they do that? That's so mean. Let the poor little trash panda have its food. Non-edible. Okay, cool. Don't know whether I'm slightly more nervous or less nervous now. Anyway. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We want to go do this one. Also called washing bears in Norway. Aww. I'm sure I will, Mum Squig. So, <clears throat> while we wait for Titters to get back, thank you so much for joining me for the end of the cave and the beginning of the Night of the Rabbit and a fair amount of technical difficulties, let's face it. Um, it's been fun. Um, Actually, if anybody wants to enter the raffle and hasn't already, now is the time to do it before I hit the select a winner. Um, I will give you like a minute. Probably less than a minute. Okay, Tidders is back and is starting up. So, yeah, exclamation mark raffle to enter. Um, it is for a copy of The Night of the Rabbit. Oh, this music's so fucking pretty. And you can't hear it anymore because of um, being on the ending screen, but oh well. Don't <laughs> you take my victory away from me. <laughs> Oof. Fight, fight, fight. Okay. Let's see who wins. Tidus has won anyway! Woo! <laughs> okay. Massive thank you to everyone that's come along today. Thank you to the folks at Signal Boost. Thank you, Tidus, for being a fab mod, as always. Um, thanks to the folks that sub, uh, the, fo uh, the folks that just uh, follow, the folks that chat, the folks that don't. Seriously, thank you to all of you. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you get as much out of these streams as I do. Um, oh, ow, poor Thos. Mate, not now. Um, he's like full on gone to sleep in my chair. Um, So, all of that said, you folks are fab. I want you to take care of yourselves. I want you to take care of each other. I want you to wash your fucking hands and go say hi to Tidders. Bye, everyone.